this is uh, the logging uh, tripod. You can imagine a borehole there. And this is Tim Hull. Hi, everybody. The logging engineer for Princeton Geoscience, charge of our field operations. What are we looking at here, Tim? So here we've got our two logging winches. We've got our borehole video winch at the top and our ge borehole geophysics winch at the bottom. Cable heads that come out here run would run out over that tripod down there when we're logging. Okay. So you want to come on in, in. To the environment all right tell so, me what you're looking at and we've got our probes here so as you've already talked about we've got our fluid and caliper probes so this is the first one we run before the borehole is disturbed we have fluid temperature and resistivity that it measures on the bottom then when we get to the bottom we open these caliper arms and they are wanting to push open to measure the diameter of the borehole okay then we've got the optical televiewer, which is centralized in the borehole using these metal centralizers and has a convex lens and LED lights shown here. The acoustic televiewer, which would also have the same centralizers. And this is the acoustic window where it sends out the acoustic wave that bounces off the borehole wall and back. Okay. Next, we have the natural gamma tool. Uh, this so one's fascinating to look at. Fascinating to look at. It's it's a big empty square, but you see up at the top, this exposed piece is where it measures single point resistance and spontaneous potential. Okay. And this tool can be stacked with this lower piece down here to get normal resistivity. And it's got a scintillation detector with inside a sodium iodide crystal. Sounds pretty high tech. <laughs> and then we have the uh, electromagnetic induction. So where we can measure resistivity if we don't have fluid in the hole or if mm -hmm. we have PVC casing. Uh, fluid sampler, borehole fluid sampler, which will open and collect a fluid sample. Uh, heat pulse flow meter, which has a, the grid, heat grid here that heats up and based on the time for the pulse of heat to travel up or down to these measurements behind these screens here, it has a conversion for gallons per minute. Uh, for higher flows, we have a spinner flow meter. You can see here, I can get it to spin well, there we go. Uh -huh. That measures higher flows. It has like a... a um... Well, each, each revolution has a little electronic uh, signal that goes on so it can measure very accurately. It's a $6,000 egg beater. <laughs> <clears throat> and then here is a, a $900 hammer, essentially. It's a, <laughs> it's a dummy probe. So this is what we run in holes where we don't know the condition of the borehole, where we're worried about it collapsing. Uh, and it can also bust through any you know, small level, layers of shale that have fallen into the hole. Okay. Uh, and then one of our other tools here this is the nano gamma tool. So most of these tools require at least an NQ borehole, at least 2.9 inches. Uh, but this one can actually be run even inside of Geoprobe rods. Okay. What's that wheel? Uh, so this wheel is most of the time we can get our logging van up to the job site. But I will show you, we have these, the cart, the, the uh, rack that we had built for these two probes. You can slide the these winches. wheels, sorry, it's for the winches. You can slide these wheels into either one to log if we have to go out into the woods. Mobility out to the uh, logging site is important. Um, more important, perhaps to some, is the client service area, which includes a microwave and a Keurig. <laughs>